Welcome to the very first Red Carpet Screenings Short Film Festival in Basingstoke. We're about to see a number of films from local filmmakers. Some of them are from our local student filmmakers. Uh, fantastic films from students who are really getting to grips with filmmaking. And some of them are actually from more experienced filmmakers. Films which have won awards, filmmakers which have won awards. This event has pulled a lot of media attention and everyone seems to be really enjoying it. So, I just hope it's a really good success and I hope everyone enjoys it. Hello, well I've made a, a, a supernatural documentary um, called The Devil's Footprints. Um, it's about a, a mysterious happening in 1855 in East Devon, um, which um, was basically some footprints that were, were, were discovered early one morning, um, which were cloven. And, um, and they were bipedal, so um, they, very quickly uh, they became known as the Devil's Footprints. And uh, my, my short film um, really is an investigative documentary about these footprints. If something mysterious occurs, tracks have appeared overnight in gardens, in woods, in parks and so on. The thing that made them would appear to have been you know, much more mobile than one would have expected of a, any sort of animal that normally lives in Devon. And it's pretty clear from that that a lot of people, even people with a lot of experience and who'd lived in that area for all their lives, were very frightened by what had happened. They couldn't understand it. I'm here at Red Carpet Screenings um, Short Film Festival in Basingstoke with Mr Mark Brennan and he is the filmmaker for the film Meat, which is going to be screened a bit later this evening. Meat is about uh, a guy called Simon who thinks he's kind of hit the jackpot when he moves in with this quite eccentric uh, culinary genius called Fletch. Um, but he soon kind of finds out that um, it's actually Fletch who's the grateful one that he has someone who's so willing to eat up the dishes he's serving, which might not be what you'd expect. <laughs> Is everything uh, running 100% over here? Everything's fine, Richard. It's just a staple. What are you doing? What did you think? That was a great event. Uh, we need a lot more like this in Basingstoke. There's not really been anything. I mean, we've travelled to Margate um, up north. There's not really been any festivals in Basingstoke. And we've always said there should be something that kind of is the core of Basingstoke. Because even on the Facebook pages, you see someone's like, I thought I was the only one in Basingstoke that liked film. There's not many people know a film in Basingstoke, so trying to promote film in Basingstoke is a wonderful thing, and this event is ideal for that. Anything which really, really stuck out in your minds as being special, what do you reckon? Um, I would say Meat. Um, I saw Meat at the Two Days Later Film Festival, um, and it blew me away, actually, on, on what you can do in such a short period of time on zero budget. I I'm really like Devil's Footprint, just because of the way... Um, I, I like the, the style of the shots, I like some of the things that... Were, um, on top of each other, the way things blended in, and then it all just fitted together really well. So, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, shooting on digital SLR is obviously you, it looks more film like, um, it comes across really strong, and it looks like your, your production qualities and values go through the roof. Um, I mean, we shot open season on a Z1, a hired Z1 for nothing, um, and it still comes across as video, even if we shoot in high def still comes across as video because we haven't got the output and, and, and the means to actually shoot or edit in high def. So editing something in, or shooting on digital SLR and producing it on digital SLR is, to me, cutting edge and I think this is where low budget films are going to go. I like to see um, more companies actually try and invest in younger generation filmmakers. I've been making films since I left university in 2003 and it's been a constant knock on the door. Even today, I'm still knocking on doors to try and get where I want to be. And as yet, I still haven't got there. But um, it's as Keith said, it, it's, it's a way to express yourself. And if I can express myself and make films that people enjoy, horrified by, scared by, disgusted by, I'm doing my job. Jazz, great to meet you. What did you think about tonight? Were there any films that you particularly enjoyed? Uh, yeah, there was a few of them. I'd meet I'd seen before when it got um, sent on YouTube just after the competition it was entered for, so I was expecting to enjoy that. Um, a lot of the ones from the second half and a couple of ones from the first half as well. It's kind of odd how the styles are quite different as well. That's one thing that kept it quite interesting. But I suppose a lot of them could work as a series of short films, I think. Um, I think Meat could, I think both the zombie films could. Um, 
just trying to think which ones are the first half I saw that could, but yeah, there's definitely a few that could definitely go on the series at least. What did you enjoy? Um, I liked uh, the last one, which I think was Meat, wasn't it? I think something like that. That was, uh, that was good. And, um, it was just different to the kind of normal films that, you know, you go and see every day. Uh, and that was the nice thing about it, that it wasn't just the, the same path as all the other films. It was, it, it was a little bit different, so they Meat, I would say. Um, Harold, the Harold one. What was that? Harold's Going Stiff. That's yep, one. that's the one. Uh, that was by far my favourite. I thought that was a very good film. Um, yeah, Meat as well. I enjoyed that one. What other one to be enjoyed? Uh, Glitch. Glitch was a good one. Glitch was, fun, yeah. Yeah. Glitch was surprising. <laughs> uh, Nick's uh, film was quite so good. I've actually seen a little snippet of that on the internet and didn't realise it was him, so I was pleasantly surprised. I love Gareth, so I think that's just brilliant. Um, and Amy as well. I know Amy, I didn't realise that was her film, and I thought she did a brilliant job. So I'm really proud of all of them. I think they're excellent, and I think this kind of thing needs to be repeated, so well done for organising it. It's, uh, I've been surprised at the, the, the quality and the standard. Devil's Footprints was the one I liked the most so far. Um, only because I thought the story just was, I liked it, it was really cool. I think they're amazing. I love the variety that there's been overall. Um, the comedy, the gore, the just the sheer variety of it all. And I'm looking forward to the second half as well, seeing what's coming up. The one that really made me giggle was the, the beans, uh, the canned, uh, I can't even remember the title. Canned Regret? That's the one, that's the one. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. That really tickled me. And I think with um, facilities like this, uh, I mean, Central Studio putting on an event like this is fantastic. And then having um, cameramen in and all sorts, I think we're getting there. What do you think about the films that you've actually seen so far tonight? Uh, this, well, obviously there's been quite a variety so far, um, ranging from gore to quite surreal and humorous. Um, for myself, I'm very much with the surreal and humorous. Um, Gareth was absolutely nuts with that story, so superb. I want to see that one again. What was it that you really, really were trying to portray? It was, it was the basically they're, they're trying to get, um, to not give too much away, to get the twist right. There are so many twists in films nowadays, and a lot of them you can predict. And for us, it was actually really interesting trying to create a film where we can get a twist at the end that people didn't quite, did, couldn't, couldn't quite work out before. Uh, I think overall it kind of worked. I think some people kind of got it before, but I think overall we did quite well. Now, Gareth, tell me, what did you think about this particular event, this festival? Well, it was absolutely superb. It's a great mix of films and a great chance to sort of see what your film, how people react to your film. So, yeah, it was excellent. I really enjoyed it. The fact that I got quite a good reception kind of helped as well. So, yeah. yeah. Matt, what did you think about the festival tonight? Uh, I thought it was very good. Um, good range of films, amateur, pro, nice, good, good uh, turn up, a lot of people. Everyone enjoyed the films, or seemed to. Very good. Excellent. Were there any films that really stood out as being particularly special for you? Meat was fantastically shot, just brilliantly written, very well done. I've seen it before, but on big screen, got a good reaction. Uh, yeah, very, it's brilliant. Well, there you have it, folks. Here it is. Red Carpet Screenings Short Film Festival in Basingstoke was a success. We've had a full house. Everyone, filmmakers, and film fans seem to have loved it. You must visit redcarpetscreenings.com for information on the next short film festival. Make sure you go and check it out for the next event. Thanks very much, guys. See you soon.